Terry, where Jan stands for Jesus and me. Hi, I'm Dr. Terry, children's pastor for Faithful Central Bible Church. Children, this video comes with a warning. It's high energy, it's filled with excitement, and lots of, you guessed it, thankfulness. So, are you ready? Because I'm thankful. Let's see how thankful you are. It's review time. We started the month learning all about the last but best incredible faith hero of all. Do you remember who it is? Yes, it's Jesus, it's Jesus. So that's the first thing you can be thankful for today. I know Thanksgiving is over, but thankfulness continues all year long, every single day. In fact, how thankful are you? Okay, well, what's the craziest way you've ever thanked someone? We learned about a woman who showed huge thankfulness. Let's see what you remember. She was so thankful to Jesus for forgiving her sins, and she had a lot of them, that she washed Jesus' feet with something. Was it mud? No, you wouldn't wash someone's feet with mud. Did she wash them with water? Well, that will work, but it's not the way this woman showed her thankfulness. Did she wash Jesus' feet with her tears? Oh, yes, that's it. I know, it sounds really crazy, right? Next, this thankful woman wiped Jesus' feet with something. Did she use a towel? That would make sense, right? No, that wasn't it. Did she use maybe a dress that she was wearing? Good try, but that wasn't it either. Did she use her long, beautiful hair? <laughs> yes, that's it. I told you this woman was super thankful. Next, we learn that we should give thanks in every circumstance. <laughs> I know that sounds a little crazy, but it's true. So, let me test you on this one. What if your parent, you asked your parents for a new video game for your birthday? When it was time to open the gifts, you found that instead of a video game, you received a book. Would you still be thankful? Hmm. Yes! Maybe you'll get that video game next time. At least you still receive the gift. Here's the next question. Your school planned a field trip to an amusement park. Maybe Six Flags. You are so excited to go. But the only thing is, you would only go if the weather was sunny. If it rained, you couldn't go. Well, you guessed it on the day of the event, it poured down raining. And you prayed and prayed and asked God that it, the rain would stop, but it didn't. And the trip was canceled. Should you still be thankful? I know, it doesn't sound like something to be thankful for, but you should. Think of it this way. If you were allowed to still go on the trip in the rain, you might get sick from being outside in all of that rain, and that wouldn't be good, children. It's so easy to be thankful for the good things that happen in our life, but when things are bad or just don't go our way, then it's very hard to say thank you, to be thankful for those things. But we must do it. Why? Because God is so good to us. He gave us Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. And that's something to be thankful for. We're alive. We can thank God for that too. Can you name five things right now that you're thankful for? Let's see if you can beat me on three. One, two, three. My eyes to see, my ears to hear, my nose to smell, my mouth to talk, and my hands to touch. That's five. I challenge you children this week 
Try to list as many things as you can to thank God for. You can do it. I know you can. Children, thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dr. Terry, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.